Hey there! Welcome to Lair Aristocrats Makers. Today I'll be painting the pot that I used for the felt flower topiary. You can use any acrylic paints that you'd like. I used a bright yellow on the outside of the pot. Then I used a blue and a pink on the inside. I also used some paint pens to give it a little bit of detail on the inside. I didn't want to do any kind of pattern on the outside of the pot because I didn't want to make it too busy. I felt that it was going to take away from the topiary itself. You're going to want to make sure that you do nice even coats all around your pot. I had to do about five to six coats as I was using yellow paint and yellow is very hard to cover a surface with. With that noted, if you're using a light colored paint, make sure that you prime your pot with a good white prime base. I used a primer on mine. You don't have to use it if you're using a darker color though. Say a blue, a navy blue, you do not need a primer. Just make sure that the paint is nice and even on the outside and the inside when we get there. As I did mention, you can use any acrylic paint that you might have. Uh, if you want to know what I used, I will be linking it in the description box down below. Make sure you don't forget those edges around the top. You want your finish to be nice and clean. As soon as your final coat is nice and dry, you're going to want to tape off the edge if you're going for some detail on the inside of your pot. I used a nice stretchy tape. That way when I pulled it tight, it kind of curves around the pot. You don't want to use just a basic painter's tape. You really want something with a stretch because you want it to hug around the curved edge of the pot. Once everything's all taped off and your edges are all protected, you're ready to apply your paint. To be completely honest, I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do with the inside. I just know I wanted bright colors and I wanted some kind of a pattern. So I just started painting. I first started with a nice pink coat at the bottom. I didn't need to use more than one coat for this because it's a very opaque paint and it covers really well. I just kind of went from there and I just went with it. I applied some blue in random patches along the sides. You'll notice that I'm not painting the entire surface of the inside of the pot. I'm not going down to the bottom. 
The reasoning to that is because I'm going to be putting a topiary in there and I'm going to be covering the most of it with a floral foam and a moss so you're not going to see the bottom. I don't want to waste paint where it's not needed. Now for the paint pens. I found my paint pens at Walmart. They came in I think a pack of six and they're about 10 bucks. So I just kind of, I kind of went with it and I just kind of did random lines. I really didn't have a plan of attack for this. And honestly, I'm really happy with the end result. Sometimes not knowing what you're gonna do and just going with it, sometimes that's the best way to go about a project. <laughs> With my pattern, I decided to just do horizontal lines, a few vertical lines, I threw in some random polka dots. Um, on the blue part, it kind of ends up looking like a plaid, like similar to a plaid kind of pattern, I'd say. On the pink side, I just kind of went over it with a different toned pink, and then I added some polka dots in there. As soon as you're done with your pattern, you can take the tape off around the rim. Now we're going to want to find a well ventilated area and seal it. You don't want your paint to be chipping after all that hard work of painting it. Once everything's coated with your sealer, you're done. You're ready to add your topiary, your house plant, anything you desire, really. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also find us on other social medias such as Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.